Hey everyone, it's Jeremiah here, and today I want to show off a Bloody Roar 4 prototype that was released by the Hidden Palace on March 20th, 2021. Also want to give a shout out to GP Bear 4 for making this known in the first place. That sound effect that you just heard to load up this demonstration screen was from Bloody Roar Extreme. Also, the font looks different. That sound is also from Bloody Roar Extreme. This song actually sounds slightly different. Uh, this is actually like my 10th time trying to record this prototype without it bugging out on me So I'm gonna try my best to point out everything as quickly as possible uh, Everything is green here and arcade is spelled as Arakula instead and Career mode's broken so don't play that uh, Also uh, when you start this prototype up make sure that you map the d-pad to your analog stick if you prefer to play it that way uh, the controls are also different, so you might want to fix that as well. Kick is on triangle for some reason, and, uh, block is on X, so you don't want that, essentially. Uh, or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but the, the controls are messed up, so you might want to fix that for your personal preference. Um, let's go back and, you know, look at a couple of other things that I found very interesting about this. Uh, the font on the character select screen looks different. Nagi looks like she just got out of bed. Uh, her model is lacking in polygons compared to the final version. Um, and it's not even just this portrait, like the model looks slightly different too, but I can't use a free look cam on the PS2 emulator for the life of me, or just I can't in general, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, also, Uriko is called the Half Beast here, instead of in the final version. They call her the Cat in the final version, which is weird. And Shenlong is not the tiger, he's the clone. <laughs> Can you imagine if they called Shenlong the clone in the final version of Bloody Roar 4? That would just... Bro, that would be weird. But anyways, there is something interesting that I want to show off uh, aud audibly-wise, audio-wise. Uh, but before we get to it, uh, Mana is nowhere to be seen. Meaning that they literally put the final boss on the character select screen. This right here is literally the final boss. It's not even like the, uh, it's not even Rioho and Mana Rioho. It's it's just the final boss. As soon as the match starts, you can transform into the dragon instantly, no problem. Now you're probably wondering, why I was silent for a second there, and it's because the music sounds slightly different. Throughout a lot of these stages, or a grand majority of them, uh, there's gonna be instruments missing, and it's not gonna sound exactly like its final counterpart, so I just found it interesting. So, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna turn off the sound effects, and I'm going to let y'all listen to the uh, soundtracks for a good bit. I'm still gonna talk and everything, but, you know, if you want to listen to this or dump the tracks yourself, then you can, but this is a showcase video, so I'm gonna do that. Um, let's pick Uriko, the Half Beast. And let's go on the Prison Tower. Now, what's really cool about this is not only does the music sound different, but you can see the people directly in front of you. And I don't think it's like that in the final version either. Obviously, you can see the prisoners in their cells, but like in the final version, I don't recall seeing people back here, if my memory serves me correct. So this is actually kind of reminiscent of Bloody Roar 2. But yeah, I don't want to linger on that stage for too long. I just want y'all to get a nice listen to the uh, prison tower theme because it does not sound the same. Uh, but what's crazier is that I made a wild discovery while playing this uh, prototype. Um, here's what you have to do. You see how they have, you know, the aquarium, prison tower, back alley, 
the dragon temple the dragon temple burnt up the dragon's mind the freezing space and the chinese temple at least i think that's the chinese temple or based on the chinese temple and the freeway and the slum uh, not slum the uh the sewer if you click on the sewer right you don't even have to do anything just click on the sewer and go back to the character select then select your character again there's gonna be two random stages that pop up in between the freezing space and the dragon temple do not pick this one okay it's just the dragon's mind there's no music there's nothing there but this one right here that looks like a like a uh, uh you know those things in the hospital you know what i'm talking about uh if you click on this yeah you get an entire well not new stage but an entirely new track And this is, for a fact, not in the final version of Bloody World 4. Even the Japanese version, because that's what this prototype is based on. It's based on the Japanese version, not the English version. And then the song just stops there. It just ends. You can't you can't really do anything about it. But yeah, that's pretty damn crazy to me. I don't know why it's it gets triggered like that, but it does, and it's really interesting. Uh, also, the aquarium sounds different as well. Oh my god, the stages are fucked. Okay, yeah, after you pick that stage, it's possible that the prototype is gonna crash on you. Uh, so be careful. See now, the aquarium stage does sound ultimately the same, but the startup is definitely different. So that's pretty cool. Also, the stage is laggy as hell. I don't know why it's lagging. And I'm starting to get the feeling it might be because of Reiji, even though he's not even in this beast form. So I'm gonna pick Yugo versus Bakardu for a change. What the hell is going on with the this thumbnail, bro? Yo, I'm tr yo, I'm not. Okay, the character select. Okay, yeah, the UI glitches a lot in this in this uh, this uh, prototype. I will say that now. Let's go to the freeway for a change of pace. Uh, this also sounds different. Let's go ahead and pick Marvel versus Buzuzima. Let's go to Prison Tower. Hello, Bloody Roar Extreme sound effect. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Why is the freaking Beast Drive sound effect on her quarter circle back punch? And the short answer is just because it's a prototype. So, yeah, that's there. 
Also, I don't remember Buzuzima's little uh, chemical thing being red in the final version of Blade Roar 4 either. I'm pretty sure it's like green or something. At least if it's at least it's on his default. I, I don't know. I just don't remember seeing it being red. Even in Bloody Roar Extreme, because he has this same like alternate costume on, in Bloody Roar Extreme. Also, I really don't understand why this emulator's lagging or why the game's lagging, but it just is. But yeah, Sheena does not sound the same at all. Buzuzima also didn't even sound that much different either. I mean, not that much different. He doesn't sound the same, and holy shit, his beast form is spazzing. Let's get out of here. Nobody needs to see that. Um, okay, now Marvel is gone, and HDIH is back there. Okay, yeah, the prototype is slowly breaking apart, and... Uh, you know, what's actually up there is Reiji the Crow, and I know it because I said it before, when I tried recording before. So you might see it again. Um, what else? Let's check out Stun. Let's see if there's anything different about him. Let's go to the freezing space. This is probably where it's going to lag the worst, so I probably shouldn't have picked the stage if I'm being real with you. Yeah, Stun... Stun definitely doesn't sound the same. Yeah, he doesn't sound the same at all. Oh yeah. In the final version, you have to unlock Ryoho the Dragon, Long, Marvel slash Sheena, Uranus, and Koryu, but they're all here in the uh, prototype. Unlike in the final version, where you have to unlock them. But these two in particular, Long and Marvel, should have not been unlockable characters. That's just weird. Uranus and Koryu, understandable. Dragon Ryoho, to some extent, since he's a new character, it makes sense. But Nagi also should have been new, and Yugo should have been the first character to pick her and not her. So, yeah, Blade Roar 4 is just a weird game overall. But once again, I want to give a good shout out to GP Bear 4 and the Hidden Palace for putting up this prototype and dumping it for people to access it because it's good to uh, preserve. Uh, information like this it's always interesting seeing things uh on how they were going to be or were starting to become what they were meant to be but then they turn out completely different and in blade Roar four's case the prototype is a little more enjoyable than the final game which is crazy uh i don't know if arcade is busted if it isn't then cool but if it is then i don't know if it's really worth it okay we loaded in no problem uh, let's just, let's just go long. Let's see what happens. Um. Oh, okay, it still uses the Bloody Roar Extreme announcer. AKA the Street Fighter uh, Alpha 3 guy. Also, my buttons are fucked. Ah, my buttons are messed up. Oh, wow, the lighting is different here. Uh, let's fix this real quick. Uh, kick. Guard. There we go. Alright, we're good to go now. But yeah, um, this is a pretty cool prototype. Buggy as fuck. Uh, the damage output is still busted on, uh, like the final version of the game. Wait. What the heck? Hold on. Okay, one of the ring pathway sound effect moves is... The sound that plays when you, uh... <laughs> do a beast drive. Oh, wow. Long doesn't even have the visual, like, cue for the quarter circle bag beast. Wow. Yeah. There's some stuff missing. Yes. Lose to me reverting back to human. Because that's totally what happened. But anyways, I think I'm having a bit too much fun with this. You guys have yourselves a good one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video whenever I uh, make a new video and stuff like that. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, we transitioned there. But, yeah, th the video basically ends here. So, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all later.
I had fun doing this.